Hello, this is Gio, and this is a toilet. And I kind of want to make this toilet looking a little bit better. I, I kind of want to replace some of the caulking on the base, but also I want to replace the toilet seat. Now, from the top it looks okay, but when you open it up, you can see that these little stoppers are kind of uh, broken off. It's a little discolored, and even here it's broken off, and it just doesn't look good. So I, I want to replace it. So what I did was I just went down to the hardware store and picked myself up a brand new toilet seat. This is just a molded wood construction white enamel finish toilet seat. I think I paid just under $10 for this, actually 19, or excuse me, um, 9 dollars And you could pay from $10 all the way up to $25 or even more depending on how fancy you want to get. Padded. Uh, design. You could have designs on these things. You could have them heated for Pete's sake. You could have them fuzzy, etc. But I'm just going to replace the same uh, toilet seat in kind. Just, just a basic toilet seat. And so I'll show you how to do this. I'll open this up first. So taking the toilet seat out of the box, it just looks exactly like the original. Um, it's probably the exact same brand. It also came with um, you can look at the bottom. It also came with just some uh, fasteners, some plastic nuts and bolts, which uh, the original also has, but we'll just replace the old ones with the new, and I'll show you how to do that next. So really all you need to do this job is just a screwdriver. This is kind of a larger screwdriver, but you know, a smaller screwdriver would work as well. And looking at the back of the toilet seat, now this, this may seem a little complicated because you don't see any screws here, but it's actually really simple. All these toilet seats have a little plate. Actually not all of them. Some of the newer ones have a little uh, kind of screw or a little, little attachment that you could just shift and it'll pop out on both sides. But with uh, traditional toilet seats you just kind of pop this little plate right off. Having a little bit of nails kind of helps and you see the screw, it's kind of hidden away. And same on this side, you just kind of take your nails and pop it off. You may need a little screwdriver to help you if you don't have nails. But so this is the screw. On the bottom side, here let me grab the fastener. So on the bottom side, you see just where the, the, the nut portion goes. And here's the original, here's the new one. So the top uh, bolt goes here and the bottom nut just screws in here and it has a little tab for you could you can kind of handle it and so what you want to do is take your screwdriver put it in the flathead screw portion and just kind of hold hold this tab and on the bottom and just kind of twist one end and once you get it started you could just easily just screw it off Takes a little while, but there you go. Put that down, and it comes right off. And this part is loose. So we'll go ahead and do that on the other side and take this toilet seat off. So there, here you go. Both of them are removed, and you just pop them right off. And there you have it. And so you grab the new toilet seat. You may want to clean underneath as well. But you just put the new toilet seat on. You want to pop these tabs off as well. center the holes. So you grab your new bolts here, stick them in. This actually has uh, a little bit of a Phillips unlike the last flathead. Stick them in. You take your nut portion and go around and just kind of just put it on loosely initially and just kind of get it kind of finger tucked. Once you get a little tight, you grab your screwdriver, put it here, and just tighten it up a little bit. Don't remember it's plastic, so it could break. And then put this tab down. That's secure. We'll do the other side and finish up this job. 
So here you go, we're all done. Brand new toilet seat, no broken parts, works very nicely. And just for $10, I was able to kind of make this toilet, toilet look a little bit better. I'll see you next time.